In topic 4.2, we're going to learn how to solve quadratic equations using the graphing method. Remember, a quadratic equation is one that's of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Uh, when it's an equation, you're solving for x. So here, it's very important, this number 0. I want you to remember that. The number 0. You want your equation to equal 0. Your roots, your quadratic equation, are also the solutions the zeros and the x-intercepts. So those are all different words for the same thing. So when you're solving your quadratic equations, you can look at your graph and your x-intercepts or your zeros or your roots or your solutions. These can have up to three answers. There can be one solution when your vertex is right on the x-axis. There can be two when there's two x-intercepts. And there can be no solutions if it doesn't cross the x-axis. Here we're going to use the graphs shown to determine the solutions. So what they did is they gave, had the equation. They already graphed it for us. We're just going to look at that graph, identify the solutions, which are the x-intercepts. So we look at problem number one. Here there's two x-intercepts. So this one has two solutions. One of them is at negative one, and the other one's at positive one. So our solutions are x equals negative 1 and positive 1. In question 2, this one has no x-intercepts or no zeros. So there's no real solution. Now, it's very important that you use the word real there. Don't just say no solution. Um, because there's actually complex roots that this one does have that we're going to learn about later. In the chapter. Now on the next one, our vertex is right on the x-axis, so there's one x-intercept, and that takes place at negative 3. So the solution to that equation would be x equals negative 3. Now what this means is if you were to plug this number back into the problem, it would make this equation true. So for example, we look back at number 1, and we were to plug in negative 1 for x, and work it out, we would get negative 3 times 1 plus 3, or negative 3 plus 3, which is 0. So it makes this equation true. Same thing with positive 1. If you were to plug in positive 1, it should also make that equation true. So there can be up to two answers when it's quadratic, and that's because of the x squared. Because when you square a number, it can make it either positive or negative.